Welcome to an out of the box unboxing. Um, this is the second Nemesis lockdown one I'm going to, I've done today. And um, this is the stretch goals. So I got Nemesis lockdown via Kickstarter and add all the stretch goals. And um, I'm going to have a look and see how they turned out. I'm expecting another race of monsters. I think they're fungi ones in this one. And there should be a Mars rover and whatever else we got with them goals okay so um, I'm going in I've got a stretch goals game menu which I guess will be how you add the krill krill bugs rules the, the new creatures oh and void seeker rules that's handy um, because if you're adding the void seekers on oh, the carnivores rules okay so that's Good to know. We've got Lockdown St Untold Stories, Volume 3. So these are like um, little comics that are setups for um, particular missions. So once you're sick of doing your um, you know, the, the playthroughs and the standalone game, this gives you a lot more depth. And this is this is a nice book. It's, um, there's no page numbers, but yeah, it's like a little graphic novel. And at each section, you end up with a mission set set up. So it gives you significant replayability. Um, and there was a volume one and two that came with Nemesis. Um, but no, that's nice. We've got a new laboratory research. Okay, so this is for the Carnomorphs. So this is integrating the Carnomorphs into um, uh, um, lockdown. And the chai, chai roots? Chai roots? This is the new alien. Oh, this looks like a, a kind of a enemy board. Lots of bags. And let's see what we've got around right here. Fungi tokens. Oh, okay. So this is something else that was... I'm not going this way again. Okay. We're going around. Um, doors. So these are nice little um, doors that are going to make a 3D effect on the board so much better. Um, oh, they're a big beastie again. This is just a different kind of enemy that's going to start terrorizing us on the Mars base. So that's great. And we've got, he's got lots of lots of little friends. Again, finely detailed. It's going to be interesting to see what different colours um, the painters out there go with for those. Are they going to be green or blue? Or... You can kind of make them any way you like. I'm not sure what those are, but and it looks like we've got some funky dice. Are these dice? There's green. Purple. Yeah, they look like they kind of got dicey type, the dicey shape. Three, one, two, and nothing. Guess I'll find out when I read the rules. And there's five purple ones and five green ones. Six cards. So I imagine these are the the start cards for the, the new characters that will come from here. I'm not opening those. Actions and character draft with the new characters. And these will be the um, event cards and monster cards for the, the new expansion. But wait, there's more. Oh man, so. Oh, I was expecting. Oh, another level. No. It's an empty box. And of course, I didn't pick it up, but yes, the Mars Rover. Which is one of the, my favourite scratch scrolls they got. So this is going to allow us to move around on the Martian surface without, I think there's a token in the um, standard game. So if you've got the stretch goals, that's really cool. And I think they changed the, some of the gaming mechanisms on one of the maps to make it a bit more... Um, it looks like a 
size of a wheel lock. Maybe we'll have a look at the cards while we're here. Let's have a look. Let's get it back in focus. There we go. Okay, so what have we got in terms of cards? What have we got? Unexpected events. Oh, different kinds of events. That almost looks like an open airlock event. And then the attack deck for the new critters. Rampant mutation. So what's... Oh, okay, so it looks like this second event deck is environmental. So there's a difference between um, creature infection events and actually environmental events. So maybe you draw from a different event deck um, depending on where you are and what you're doing. Could be that this is um, for the main game, whereas this is more customized for the, 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 this creature expansion. And again, plenty of room. There's going to be truckloads of room for um, for sleeves, which is great because we like to sleeve our cards. Um, action cards. I imagine these are the action cards for. Android, where is the Android? Oh, okay, Android is the, um, from the Aftermath um, expansion from Nemesis. So we've basically got Bounty Hunter um, new cards for those characters to make them compatible. And I think that's probably, it's lucky to open these, wasn't it? Um, I imagine that's what we have in here as well. What have we got? So those are event cards. And then we've got intruder bag development help cards. Player, player selection cards. Yeah, so it looks like it was only the Android and the Bounty Hunter, so maybe those are the only two that require tweaks to actually work with um, lockdown. So that's good to know. I haven't played with either of those because I've just been playing with the core Nemesis box, really. Um, so much content, so little time. And these are sealed. Let's have a look and see what we get in here. Oh, medic. Needle guns, so there you just had some new stuff for medic character, which was a standalone kind of add on from a um, nemesis, which I got in the um, first wave. So, this is the weakness cards for the new aliens and CEO, android, psychologist, bounty hunter, and the convict get new starting cards, quest items um, again, which is to do with making them compatible. So that's good. Good to thought that through. And there you go. Um, what else we got in here? I think we've looked at everything. That is the um, stretch goals for Nemesis Lockdown. Lots of bags um, and more tokens to pop out. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Probably more important to subscribe. Liking's good, but subscribing is more useful. Um, but yeah, really nice to get the untold stories. Nice bound. A little extra, just to give that extra um, replayability and um, value. Excellent. So that is Nemesis Lockdown. Stretch Girls Pack.